All right. Kind of a little surprise live stream here. See, a few people are watching. I'll give it a few minutes here just to let everybody come in. Um, For those who are watching, can you hear me okay and everything? Hopefully the audio is fine. <laughs> okay, good. Thank you. All right. Everybody's uh, kind of probably off watching my other videos and they're not seeing the live stream right now other stuff I just put out so I'm just going to get to this because people can watch it later on if they don't want to but uh, um, hi everybody uh, it's coming into the live stream here um, we're looking for a place uh, just to make a long story short we're doing the off-grid thing we've been doing that now since 2018 so five years this will be our fifth winter in a tiny house off grid and um you know just trying to determine what god's will is trying to always live as cheaply as we can that's what we always do and so um the praying about it and we started to realize you know what instead of building a place it's that's off grid always going to have the issue of going between the office and in town here and off grid property probably would be better just to have an on-grid place so that's what we're trying to look about and so i watch or i look at the uh, redfin quite frequently for the state of maine and other states as well just kind of seeing what's out there the house prices are way too high right now the home affordability is at an all-time low i mean it's it's terrible if you know anything about what's going on uh, with the economy people are just coming up with insane prices so i'm going to share a few things i found here and i just some weird stuff i'm thinking okay this is really odd um this is the kind of the northern part of maine here the uh way up in the in Aroostook county up at the top they actually have a park up there called the four corners park in madawaska maine and it's one of the it's the top northeastern part of america so um but uh yeah just show this real quick here david wilson yeah you're right save your wear on the car too yeah um there's a lot of times that uh it's right now we're getting freezing rain and i have to drive home and i'm down to one vehicle right now that's running so <laughs> because i drive i drive older junker cars so um hopefully everything will be all right there but saw this the other day and i thought i mean madawaska is not real high you know high-end real estate type of a thing i saw this three million seven hundred fifty thousand dollars for this here's another one three million seven hundred fifty thousand for that not worth anywhere close to that and you get down through here three million seven hundred fifty thousand three million seven hundred fifty thousand in madawaska another one in madawaska three million seven hundred fifty thousand here's one for seventy nine thousand nine hundred that's more like the prices of stuff there in that area but um I don't know if there's any other ones down in here. There was a bunch of them. There were 3,750,000, I guess. They must have changed it. But what I'm wondering is, I mean, there's four places right there. Now, either somebody's a little bit crazy in the head, or I'm wondering if there's artificial intelligence being used to create real estate ads, and they totally blew it, you know. Um, I don't know. Uh, some really weird stuff there. I thought, okay, that's kind of odd. I just thought I'd show that one. But um, here's another one that I saw uh, way out of my price range. Way out of my price range here. But um, just looked at this and, and um, I'll check a lot of times what are tax assessed values and, you know, the sale history and whatever else. You, you know, you have to do your research. Look at this one. Also very strange. In August, it was one and a half million dollars sold in September for 1.1 million. And then this is 2023. And then now it's back on the market 
within what two weeks september 28 2023 for 525 000. i'm thinking huh so you take it's basically half less than half the price um, who would buy it and in less than two weeks put it back out for less than half the price you're just going to lose over five hundred thousand dollars you know just seeing that i'm thinking <laughs> okay you know i mean the house is like i said way too much it's totally out of my price range but just looking at this so it sells for 1.1 million and it's listed you know two weeks later for less than half the price I don't know. Maybe some people have enough money to be stupid like that. But um, this one here I thought was an interesting one. Uh, this place here. And uh, I was looking around through this thing. And I came across this thing here in the this little entryway. There's a plaque there and a plaque there. Wait till I show you what's on the plaques. You can do these 3D walkthroughs. are kind of neat to do. But um, you zoom in here. I don't know if you can see the plaque here, but um, right there, Aquinas, Frederic, Fredericus, S R E Card O'Brien, blah blah, Equestris Ordinan, whatever. This right here is the the husband's Knight of the Equestrian Order. Um, thing there that his you know membership or whatever in the knight of the knights of the equestrian order and there's his wife's knights of the equestrian order thing uh, if you don't know about the knights of the equestrian order i'll close out of that and um but they're one of the highest levels of uh, fraternities within knighthoods within the roman catholic church uh, you have to be a very powerful catholic to get that so saw that and i thought <laughs> well okay and you should have, you know, going throughout the guy's house there, you know, you can see that uh, you can do the 3D walkthrough and it shows that his library and there's all these uh, different books and things, Catholic books. And one of them was it, on the spine. You can see it said Novus Ordo Seclorum. I thought, whoa, OK, that's a little crazy. Um, yeah. So but I saw this and I thought. I mean, is anybody else seeing stuff like this? I mean, maybe you're, most of you probably aren't, you know, you don't care about real estate ads, but I just saw this and I thought, they're selling a post office? Yeah, a post office for sale and a real estate ad. Now, you know, let me know in the comments. I mean, is anybody else seeing this kind of thing? Are post offices coming up for sale? I I'd think a government building wouldn't be for sale. So kind of an odd one there. Um so kind of a, near, a weird one, another one there. And then this one here I thought was interesting. This is a former Baptist church. Uh, this place here, uh, you come down this, this is Route 1. This is in the town of Littleton. And there's a road that turns right about this way. And um, that, would, that went back to the first property we bought in Maine. And so it was really interesting to see a Baptist church going out of business. <laughs> um a baptist church closing down like that and i thought hmm, if this work or this council be of men it will come to naught yeah i think it came to naught um and i'm seeing a lot of church buildings coming up for sale people are just abandoning the churches so thought that was another interesting one like i said this was a baptist church um years ago when we first came to maine and it's for sale now so but this one here i saved for last because this one's kind of a very interesting one um i'll show you some pictures of it anybody see anything strange about this building little thing up here hmm looks fairly regular on the outside but uh they're on the inside so one of those power chair things going down the steps i guess bathrooms or something but look at this Right there, you have the uh, two pillars, the seat, I guess, for the, I'm not sure what who would sit there because this looks like the bigger seats up here. I don't know, Worshipful Master, if he would sit there or whatever else, but uh, it's a Masonic Lodge. 
completely furnished Masonic Lodge. Again, I've never seen anything like that. There's the altar, the two different candles to go on the other, other either side of the altar. I mean, weird, very weird. To see everything's just like they just left it. And it's for sale that way. And it, and it sold quickly, by the way. So I, I think uh, some Freemason probably got that fast and said, you know, that's not supposed to be sold. I've had different people send me things that were Masonic over the years. And they say, you know, this is never when you're a Freemason, you're supposed to give your books and whatever back when you die. Um, it's supposed to go back to the lodge. So it's just interesting that they would literally just walk away from this Masonic lodge and um, leave everything there. I mean, all the different certificates and things on the walls. I can't say it's like the rapture happened and they all left because they wouldn't be leaving at the rapture. <laughs> but uh, just like, again, I said, it's just really weird to see that an actual free Masonic lodge for, for sale like that. Really weird. But uh, this one here I saw, this is just a few days old, December 7th, today's the 10th. And um, Biden wants to give 500,000 Americans money to buy homes. Yeah, you know, we we have the money for that. That's good for the economy. You know, let's just hand out more stimulus so people can get into debt. Um, just unbelievable. And, of course, you get down through the article. I won't, won't waste time reading it, but it's all about, you know, low-income families and minorities and whatever. And I know somebody uh, commented. I saw a video about this. That's how I knew about it. And somebody commented, and they still probably give them to the illegal immigrants. You know, <laughs> that's who they're probably going to give them to. You know, kick the American people out of the homes and whatever, and then give them to illegals. And this nutty world, nothing would surprise me. But it just, uh, what is this going to do? Well, this is going to um, increase the subprime mortgage lending system, which is going to further crash the housing market. And uh, I know that there's also legislation being proposed right now. Um, Reventure Consulting talked about this on YouTube. And this legislation is coming out and they're they're talking about possibly making all the hedge funds um, sell their homes and they'll have 10 years to do it if this thing gets passed. So what's my point here? My point is, brethren, um, there the crash of America is not just it might happen. It's being planned. OK, and it's being carried out rapidly. Um, I did a video a number of years ago about this uh, military website, which was taken down after I did my video, um, showing that they're planning a 75% reduction of the population here in America by 2025. So they've got a year um, to get this thing done. And of course, it's an election year, which, you know, that usually brings uh, certain illnesses, you know, with it. Um, I mean, it's, it's crazy what's going on and uh good thing to start praying and um be really close to the lord as things get really nutty um so that's about all i'm going to cover for now with that i'll just wanted to i saw your comment here there's a 7500 government stimulus for evs that is expiring within two weeks 7500 dollars well, that's not going to buy you much of an electric vehicle I mean, <laughs> Uh, crazy. So, there was a, there's a lodge, there was a lodge near me that was abandoned for at least 40 years, so that's actually pretty common. Huh? I haven't seen that before, so interesting. Thank you for your comment. I believe the plan is to lose a war and the elites, as always, will be in on the peace deal. Yeah, carve America up. Um, we already lost the war with uh, Ukraine and Russia. You know, America was the one giving all the weapons to the Ukrainians. Um, I'm from Ireland, so no one to talk to about KJV. If anyone can help me, please let me know. Anybody in the comments, if you can help there, 
know anybody in the area or you live in the area, you can um, contact each other or whatever. Uh, I actually had people get married from live streams. So they meet each other in a live stream and, oh, hey, you're from my country. I didn't know that. So you never know. Um, it's good to put that out there. He's in England there, if that's any good. Um, Limerick City Church. So, but anyhow, I'm not going to do a real live, long live stream here. I just wanted to do that thing with these weird real estate ads. Just really strange stuff. Um, but uh, anybody that didn't catch the live stream, you can let me know down in the comments what you think about some of that stuff. Um, especially this this one that really kind of makes me think, hmm, was the, uh, which one is it here? Is it that one? Yeah, this one here. That one just blows my mind. I don't know how, how does that even work? You know, I mean, you're losing, you know, half a million dollars. You know, I don't really, uh, I don't get it. <laughs> um, very bizarre. So I'd like to hear people's thoughts about that. I mean, you know, I'm hearing things about the housing prices will crash and whatever. Well, I'd say it's a pretty big crash right there. And that's a pretty big drop in price. You know, 1.1 million and two weeks later, you relist it as 525,000. I mean, even an investor or whatever else, if it's some, you know, hedge fund or some kind of a thing like that, and they come along and they say, you know, we bought it for 1.1 1, 1 million and then, oh, we better get out of it quickly. And they sell it for half the price. You know, I don't know, really weird. You know, and I get it. He said, if it looks phony, it is. Um, yeah, but why would it be on Redfin? I mean, it's just kind of odd. And there's a you know realtor assigned to it and whatever else. So I don't know. But that's going to be it. Stay close to the Lord and read your King James Bible. See you in upcoming videos.